Is it better? Okay, it's, I think it's good now. What the fuck just happened to it? Someone fucking... Someone dipped my Project M. Someone dipped my Project M in Nathan, fucking Nathan, I discovered tar. a trick! You don't... Oh, don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> you had enough of Ike. I like... We <laughs> like Ike. I fucking three hours last night. I've had enough of fucking Ike. Dude, I love Ike. Jesus fucking Christ. You ready for my tech? God. You know what he can do? He can wall jump. Yeah, everyone can fucking wall jump. Big deal. No, not everyone can. Oh, God. Alright, yeah, we got on the top 40. We got feature to... Thank you, top 40. Yeah, um, we really appreciate the feature. Uh, we also, so we went to Shadaloo Showdown, you still, I need to give you the footage for that actually. Oh yeah, um, we met Armada and we interviewed him and shit, and he's a really nice guy. <laughs> yeah, um, and that'll go up whenever I give Jim the footage, and then, fucking... Oh, uh, saved you. Oh, I had to. I've... <laughs> uh, uh, what are you doing? You used to be good at this game. I guess I'm talking, I can't, I can't play and talk, you know this. Um, I just make bad decisions. So yeah, we went to Shadaloo Showdown. Fucking one, what is, <laughs> one fan. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> one fan. So we we asked some people to come out. I don't know how many fans live in Australia, and then live in Victoria, and then are also interested in Smash. But we had one guy come out. So thank you, Kai. Yeah, we, we had fun. <laughs> we appreciate you, and that's all that matters. Not all the other cunts didn't show up. Hopefully next time you guys fucking- Actually, I know what's worse. Not having fans in Melbourne, I having fans that didn't show up. I- Honestly, I would rather have fans show up and have less fans than have- Yeah. So, all you- Everybody in America, you should probably just move here. I mean, what? We're the most livable city, right? Uh, I'd, I'd disagree heavily with that. That's what they say. Yeah, if you're a rich cunt. It's great here if you can fucking afford it. No one can. Well, okay. But like I mean, who wants to pay, who wants to pay 200 bucks? It's the case with every it's the case with every city. Who wants to pay 200 bucks a week for a one bedroom apartment with a shared laundry like? I don't know how much the prices in other places are, so I couldn't say. Uh, it's uh, a lot cheaper. I'll give you, it's a lot fucking cheaper. Melbourne's ridiculous. What are you even paying for to be in proximity to cunts? That's it. Oh god, jungle japes. <laughs> oh, how'd this happen? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the random switch. Yeah, let's just do it. No regrets. Uh, yeah, what other news do we have? For this week. Uh, I got a cat. Yeah, Jim got a new cat. I actually secretly really like cats. Yeah, we had talked about being a cat person, now he's got a cat. What do you know? Um, I didn't get a new cat. Nathan didn't get a new cat. He's got a new dog though. Yeah, that's uh, that's five now. <laughs> you have a lot of dogs. <laughs> Is, your mum is a crazy dog person. They're crowding out the tubes. No, my nan's like a crazy dog person, but my mum is like the one that shows it. It's like, it's clearly in, in, it's clearly in my family's blood. Yeah. Like, because... Well, that numb, we get disease. Yes. Oh, I also have that. Nathan has <laughs> two <laughs> That's um, it, that's I'm the next news. I'm the choosing week. not to do the ice bucket challenge, because I want Nathan to die. Oh, wait, is that the same as ALS? Is that... Yeah. That's... Wait, is, there, is it a it syndrome? It's a topical joke. Is it syndrome? It's a disease. It's in the, the name. Then why is it ALS? What's the S stand for? I don't know. Is it? It must it's be syndrome, syndrome. and it must be both. I don't know. Then what's the A stand for? Asynchronous. Oh, yeah, I took a stock. <laughs> well, Lou Gehrig's is the pop culture name for it. Because Lou Gehrig, he didn't actually want to be credited with that business. He didn't want to be credited for it. Because it's, it's like, like when you make a really shit movie. Yeah, it's like I don't want people saying a movie by UV Ball. Oh, oh, okay. Um, fuck, uh, Australia went to war with somebody? Oh yeah, no, China. Yeah. So, um, yeah. They were, they were making too many ship. like, you know, there's always, like, Australian-owned products and whatever. Yeah. And then, it's, like, made in China. It's, like, they kind of, there's, Australian like, a war. People. Yeah, there was a war, but there was, like, kind of a war between the two products, and now they started doing that. Tasmania's so. not involved, they're all cunts. Tasmania isn't Australia. Too busy, sister, fucking. When do we, we have a hammer? What the fuck? How do you, how do you get hammers? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Tasmania is actually kind of like the moon, basically, of Australia. No, no, not the moon, fucking Pluto. It's like, it was too small to be considered part of Australia, so it's not anymore. Yeah. Um, As he's gone. But nobody cares. Like, unlike the moon, nobody gave a fuck. Even the people in Tasmania. Hey, what happened to the moon? Is that not the moon? I keep saying the moon instead of Pluto. 
Like Pluto. Uh, the, uh, also, the moon is no longer a planet. It was a planet briefly. Yeah. Australian cosmetologist um, Simon Grants declared it a planet. For about 45 seconds, everyone was very confused. <laughs> it was a bad day for science. Yeah, well, I mean, he faked his degree. So I don't know if he was even officially a planet. But um, that's, that's the world of science in Australia. No, 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 no. What's new in economics? Econ Who gives a fuck about economics? Really? Economics is dead. That was also officially declared. It was in the um, <laughs> it was in the obituaries. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, economics itself. Peter Hitchens declared. Who is that again? Is it Peter Hitchens? Who is Peter Hitchens? I know that name. Who is he? The, yeah, the super atheist guy. He's the guy who wrote a book called God is Dead. Oh he's, yeah. He's also declared that um, economics is dead. Okay. <laughs> he has that right. Well, I mean, if you can say God is dead, if you can write a book claiming <coughs> that God is dead, I'm sure you can claim anything, right? I'd be more concerned if there was a book that said that God was alive. Oh, actually, yeah. If there was a God that said... Like, you can claim someone's dead if you can't see them, because it's like, who's gonna say no? You can claim whatever the fuck you but want about. if you say God is alive, Jesus. and you have some fucking evidence to back that shit up, it's like, whoa. If, people, if you say God is dead, the people who believe you will be like, whatever, and the people who don't believe you, you can claim anyone's will also dead. be like, whatever. It's like, prove it. It's like, well, I, I don't have to. He's not here, is he? Yeah. I really wish I could do Lucario good. Don't we all? Yeah. Damn, I just did that. <laughs> that, was, that was a fitting statement for that period of time. Um, oh, thanks, man. So yeah, it turns out Armada's like a really cool dude. Yeah, we, yeah, okay. Of all, of all the fiction going around today. No, there's none. It's all true. <laughs> this is especially true. We, um, we interviewed him, so... Oh uh, yeah, we got a... I, we made a video about uh, going to Shadow Loop. It's really dumb. We made. You you will make. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not done yet. It's not started yet. <laughs> it's not at all started. You spent the last fucking two weeks trying to do Mario. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which was good. That was a good finale. Yeah, I, do, I told you. I knew as soon as I started doing it, I get carried away and spend like five hours on it. Which I did. Yeah. Um, but it was painful to play. Holy fuck. You don't realize. Oh, yeah. That was horrible. If you look at the life bar draining on each of the fast forwards, you can kind of tell the amount of pain that we went through doing that. That's my life, too. Draining away. Yeah. <laughs> like, Back. Mario's never been more real than that episode. Uh, but yeah, so in the Mario's in never been more real. In the interview with oh, Armada, shit. we didn't get all the good stuff, unfortunately. Well, cause the thing was, we interviewed him and then we hung out with him for like half an hour, and then lucky. I, th I actually, I think he was going to leave. We didn't, we didn't one of us like say something, and then he came back to answer the question, and then we just kept talking. I swear, no. I swear, once he shook his hand, he was like, "Yeah, all right, I'm off." And then like, we asked him like a last question, and then he just hung around for like half an hour more. And then Lucky, the other professional player, came along for like another 10 minutes. Well, because the story, it's actually a really interesting story, and we um, we did touch on it in the video. But um, the Australian uh, Smash scene raised money to bring him over so we could, play, so they could like, play against him. Yeah. So everyone like paid for his flights, and then he came over and wrecked everybody and dropped like two stocks in. But, every, but everyone loved it. Like everyone loved getting their everyone shit Everyone was like, wrecked. come fuck me up, right? yeah, come fuck me up. And he's like, oh, oh okay guys. <laughs> But no Yigs, Yigs is fucking gay. No Yigs. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, so he's from, he's Swedish. And I swear, I swear he like, he completely knows how to say the word, the letter Y. He must know how to, or it's J rather. <gasps> he must know how to say the letter J. But he doesn't, he chooses not to. He mm. says Y. Like, I guess that's just a Swedish If I didn't get yelled at for doing that, I'd do it as well. <laughs> I'm gonna start. <laughs> Why would you get yelled at? Well, because my name is Yim. Uh, yeah, and so what? like, who the fuck are you? And I'd be like, I'm Yim. Yeah, man, it's like, what? 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 Nah, people think I was weird. Right. I don't have an accent. Well, I do. Yeah, you sort do of- Do I have an accent? I don't know. I just have, I have a weird Australian voice. accent. Oh, okay. I guess that's one thing. Um, so yeah, like, we kind of conducted the interview a bit wrong. We should have, like, had a bit of a chat to him and then done the interview. Well, because I was- I felt bad the whole time for, ta like, for, for taking, like, for Yeah, because he just finished doubles. Uh, and he was just finals. going on to play And he was melee. just about to play Melee, like, you know, the main event, obviously. Because fucking Melee. Well, it's finals. Uh, no one really sticks around for finals, which I learned. No, that's bullshit. It's true. No one did. You see, no no, one, okay, doubles was packed. No one important sticks around for finals. That doesn't make any sense that nobody would want to stick around for finals. It's the most No one stuck around for finals, compared to doubles. Yeah, but I'm sure they were interested in it. They just probably had to go. Like, why would you not? 
but and, or maybe a local. Because everyone knows who's going to win. I talked to Lucky about it. I guess that's one thing. Yeah, if you go to enough events, you probably know who there is going to win. So there's no point going. But, yeah, no, I talked to Lucky about it for a while, and he's like, yeah, at American events, I'd be interested to see if it's the same here. But no one sticks around for finals because the tier lists are so like uh, ingrained. Everyone knows who's going to win, so no one lists. really the player tier lists. Yeah, yeah, legit. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I don't think it'd be the same here, but it was. Everyone kind of left because they had to. He's like, Why, yeah, no, everyone's tired, and I don't think. I'm sure a lot less people would have left this time because Armada was there. There was still only- you were there! There was only a handful of people there. I thought there was a decent amount of people there. I didn't- I wasn't really unimpressed by the amount of people. I was. I was underwhelmed. I thought it'd be more hype than the doubles, because the doubles had like 200 people there. <laughs> crowding yeah. and screaming at everything. is great. Also, we learned that fucking Brawl is now played with one stock in tournaments. Yeah, fucking right. Which is just Set. played with less. Set. Played with zero stocks. Zero stocks. Yeah, just don't fucking play it. It's a shit game. And the winner is... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> the winner game. is uh, everyone that isn't watching this right now. Oh, man. Yeah, so... We started... We, like... We, we, we got Amada <coughs> aside. We were like, hey, you want to do an interview? So we did, like, a 10-minute interview. And then we stuck around more. And, it, like, there were some really interesting things being said there. But, um, unfortunately we didn't get them on camera because we weren't filming after the interview. Uh, and that would have been fun. He basically called Hungrybox a fraud. <laughs> That's great. And Jigglypuff gay. Uh, which was incredible. All that I really wanted to hear. I used to be a supporter of Hungrybox. Well, he's younger than we are, like... Yeah, he's fucking... He's actually younger than me. I'm like one of the youngest people I know. <laughs> and he's younger I think you are actually the youngest person I know. Yeah. Maybe. Everyone I know is either old as fuck or like... Well, everyone I know is either uh, my age or my dad, basically. <laughs> well, point. that usually happens with any any given person. They generally know people around their age, or they not necessarily. There's there's a period where I only knew people older than me. Oh fucking. Um yeah. Fuck. That was one stock. Oh my god. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Uh, what else is news? Oh yeah, um, when I go overseas, I'm making a video. So you guys, I'm gonna be regularly uploading videos and shit. But are you gonna be doing vines, man? No, no. You're gonna be vining? Um, I decided while I'm overseas, I'm gonna be a story collector. So while I'm overseas... Oh, you're gonna be a fucking weird ass, braided hair, exploring the world motherfucker. Basically, yeah. Well, you gotta do it at some point in your fucking life. Like, it's a cliche, but fuck it. There's a, there's no, a reason... Clichés exist for a reason. You don't have to be a reporter. because they're fun. But whenever I hear a good story, I'm gonna I'll go up to the person and be like, Hey, can I film that? Because I collect stories. Here's my videos and stuff. So I'll be regularly uploading videos of me hanging out with people and doing shit. Like a travel diary, but not one where I'm just in a bedroom going, Today I went to the Eiffel Tower, it's pretty fucking great. It'll be like, me like doing shit, along with um... Out in the world, man. Shit that's happened along the way. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. You can wall jump. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was, that was cool. Just in general, everything about um... Everything about Shadowloo was pretty cool. I had a fact, great time. Except for the fact that we didn't compete. Also, there's one neckbeard there. Total one. Oh, and, and he um, rejected your interview. <laughs> he rejected yeah. my interview so hard. Well, I no, like, no, you. I went up to him and I was like, "Hey, man, you competing?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> and he turned around and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> like he didn't even know that I was like gonna ask him shit. He probably did. That's why. He to be fair, on. if I looked like that guy, I'd think everyone talking to me was taking the piss as well. Yeah, that's why. You, that's why you stop looking like that guy. Like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, eventually you're like, oh, you're like, hmm, something novelty. Something's happening here. Yeah. Something smells bad, and it's not anybody else. <laughs> what, what? I don't think people who smell bad think they smell bad. Like, have you ever, I don't know, have you ever been in a room and been like, I've, I've been aware that, um, I've been in a situation where I smell like shit and I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, actually, and I said nothing. <laughs> There's nothing you could do. About There's nothing you can do. You just gotta kind of. Deal. Fucking Samus is shit. <clears throat> I don't understand her jumps. They're, they're too. They're way too high. Would you stop that? <laughs> oh what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. It was a pretty neck beauty event in general. Neck beauty and beanie and caps. There was like. Beanies are now one cut above uh, fedoras, I think. Nah, no, they're not. Come they on. They are man. one step. They're really not. I still wear them because it's still one step. That's all I need. They're really not. I only need one, one, uh, one. They're, it's an archetype. One stop of, of light above. <laughs> it's an archetype, definitely, but it, I don't think it's anywhere it's near an fucking. It. <laughs> it's like so. What, so there's like you, you get your um, you get your main class, and then at level thirty you get your job. Yeah, yeah. 
You get your like um. So there's nerds. No, you, and then there's you go. Beard and you go from hatless to a hat. Yeah. So just because you go so from you start fedora, hatless. just because you so go it's like fly. and then you can job change if you want. But that takes See, like everyone, everyone starts out as a vagabond. Yeah, everyone starts out as a vagabond with no hat, and then you either get a fedora, you get a beanie, and maybe from a beanie you go to something else, like one of those weird long beanies, or you get like dreadlocks or whatever. And from a fedora you go to like a full suit all the time, which is just uh, like weird. That's just gross. That's like the gentleman just class. Stop. <laughs> um, it's fashion. <laughs> it's fashionable. Class is for men, swag is for boys. <laughs> God damn it. Um. Yeah, but like that doesn't that doesn't mean that they're like that there's only one degree of separation from them. It just means it's another fucking type of person. Like I don't think it's that easy to go huh. from a fucking neckbeard fedora to a weird hipster beanie man. They're two very different people with very different ideas. Hipster beanie man. Hipster beanie and man. Ah oh, fuck yeah! You. <laughs> Piece of Get shit. Get it. Get fucking lit. Um. Yeah, I don't know. All the all the beanie people there, like they seemed pretty. They cool were to talk everyone. To. Yeah, we spoke to like 15, 20 people. We got terrible interviews. By we the didn't way. Get fifteen. It was like ten people at most. No, no, no. I looked at the audio recording. We got a lot. I don't know if they were all people. Were they? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, people. We. I, had a, I don't uh, know I, if they're all. It people. really does dispel the myth that uh, things like that are neck beauty when you actually go and talk to all the people there, because oh. they really are great. Uh, I mean that entirely sincerely. Oh, wouldn't you know, Jim? All those fucking times I've in I've invited you to shit, and you dismissed it because they were neckbeards. Maybe you were wrong. Uh, no. Okay. Most of them are neckbeards, but there's enough non-neckbeards to make it worth it. Make it worth. Oh. Can I take this stock without dying? Oh god. <laughs> I'm just a little boy, Jim. <laughs> in my fucking pajamas. Wait, can I? Oh, well, no. Do what? Oh, what counter after? Yeah. Can you can you do a B move? You, no, you could jump and do one, but you'd be rising at the same time. So it'd be bad. Um. Yeah, I don't know. The good events. The thing about okay, even if there's people that are like they make you uncomfortable because they're weird and you don't want to hang out with them, it's like it doesn't matter anyway. They're just there for the event. To be fair, you even don't even baseline people make me pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Like just I was ba <laughs> baseline human beings. Oh, yeah, it probably wasn't a good idea because we went around. I was really nervous about interviewing people, you know, yeah. naturally. And so I went outside with um my friend John. We had a big joint. She didn't help anything. <laughs> I thought it did. No, or well, it made it more fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. I swear that was why you were so fucking eager to do shit. Or was yeah. that you two trying to like? No, I really was. I was having a great time. It was it really was weird. Really, um, you, you could also tell that like half the people were like kind of like really apprehensive about what the fuck we were doing, because we came yeah. up to them and I like I like followed behind Jim just because I wanted to you know stay close. Well, if and you then had Jim was bigger, like, "Hey man, do you want to talk to us?" And they were like, "What the fuck?" If you had a bigger, nice, you're gonna die. Nah, nah. You can't call that shit. <laughs> called it last time. Yay! Yeah, oh, wait. Yay! Yeah, what were you gonna say? I called it last time. No, what were you gonna say before that? Something about the event. Oh, if we had had a bigger camera or whatever, uh, people would be less apprehensive, I think. Because they look more professional. A bigger camera. <laughs> Instead, we just had some, like, weird CD camera. Yeah, and we had, like, a... Like, we were using hey, my phone as a microphone. It was a great time. Hey, um, man. Hey, man, you want to fucking do an interview? Played maybe? a bunch of casuals. Oh, not casuals. Okay, um, yeah, friendlies. Keep, keep calling them casuals. They're, very, they're really not casuals. Did it? Ooh, oh! Fucking oh. come here, you <laughs> child. Fuck! God. I'm just a little boy. How old is Ness anyway? Uh, he's primary school. Yeah, he's like he is a child. He's you about a, he's not, about as big as he is old, right? You probably get taken downtown trying to fuck him. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I feel like if you took Ike downtown, you'd get fucked as well. Well, Luke. I mean, Ike oh! fights for his friends. Oh, ah! <laughs> ah! You know, Ike um Ike fights for his friends. Yeah, he's all good. He doesn't fight to He doesn't fuck right. for his friends. He doesn't fuck for his friends. Alright, I think that's the end of, so, of, of Smash, yeah. Thanks for joining us for semi-fake, semi-real news week. See if you can separate the, the real from the fake. Yeah, tell us below, what do you think is real? Oh, God, spot, that. spot the one true fact that wasn't about our oh. Cop that. That's, right. a, that's beautiful. That's tasty.